हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उडगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर थ्री फेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री फेज डेल्टा सिस्टम लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अनालाइज concept of three phase delta system guideline introduction relation between v line voltage phase voltage for delta system mathematical expression for line current phase current numerical based on delta connected system and definitions of active reactive apparent powers three phase delta system in previous video we had a introduction of three phase system uh, with a delta connected load or source here uh, you will find uh, ery then eyb ebr these are three line voltages as well as the phase voltages whereas this uh, uh, i r i y and i b these are the line currents i 1 2 i 2 3 and i 3 1 these are the phase currents relation between line voltage and the phase voltage for delta system in delta system line voltage is equals to the phase voltage question in three phase system what is the value of three phase supply voltage is it line voltage or phase voltage answer is in three phase system supply voltage is always equal to the line voltage mathematical expression for line current and the phase current now let us derive the relation for line current and the phase current so this is a delta connected system i1 i2 i3 i1 i2 i3 these are the phase currents whereas ir iy and ib ir iy and ib these are the line currents okay now one example phase and line voltage that is the vry vr and vy this is vry it is the line voltage as well as the phase voltage next uh, let us draw a vector diagram in which here this is the vr vy vb i1 i2 and i3 now look at this point this node uh, ir is equals to i1 minus i3 considering this let us find out the uh, ir that is the line current which is the difference of i1 and i3 this is i1 
minus i3 can be shown over here so this is minus i3 now the resultant of resultant of this can be obtained by using a parallelogram method so this is a, a line ir which is equals to i1 minus i3 it is the line voltage now let us this is o this is uh, q this is s and now let us draw a perpendicular on line oq from point s at point p according to the geometrical concept we can say that uh, op is equals to 2 times oq okay op is equal to 2 times oq what is oq uh, sorry oq is equal to time 2 times oq what is oq oq is the line current il or ir next this oq is nothing but 2 times o op is equals to 2 times os cos of 30 degrees which is equal to 2 times os root 3 by 2 what is os os is nothing but the uh, phase voltage ih root 3 by 2 2 2 will get cancelled so we can say that line current is equal to th root 3 times phase current so this is the expression for uh, line current which is equal to root 3 times the phase current now coming to the next let us solve one numerical in which a three phase delta connected load draws a current of 20 ampere with a power factor of 0.8 ampere uh, uh, 0 0.8 with a supply voltage three phase 400 volts 400 volts 50 hertz now let us move ahead it is required to find out value of R, L and active power P. Since it is a delta system, in delta system line voltage is equals to phase voltage. Here the supply voltage is always a line voltage. So I can say that it is equals to 400 volts. Now since it is required to find out value of R, L, R, L it is required to find out uh, Z pH I pH then uh, XL pH and so on now what is I pH I pH is equals to uh, what I L upon root 3 line current is given as 20 ampere divided by root 3 uh, gives out to be 11.54 ampere from this we can find out z ph so you see z ph i ph and xl ph these are the uh, per phase impedance current and uh, reactive inductance respectively so that z ph equals to v ph upon i ph given by 400 volts divided by 11.54 comes out to be 34.64 zph now uh, remember uh, this is a uh, this one is <coughs> this is this one is the impedance triangle in impedance triangle this is rph this is xlph and this is zph okay so from this impedance triangle we can find out RPH is equals to ZPH cos 30. XLPH is equal to ZPH sin 30. So from this relation we can find out because we are knowing ZPH cos 30 sin 30 we can find out from power factor. So RPH comes out to be putting the value of ZPH. Uh, ZPH is equals to 34.64 cos 30 is equal to 0.8 which is power factor. So uh, RPH comes out to be 27.71. XLPH, we can find out the XLPH. XLPH also we 
find, we can find out using this relation ZPH sine 30, uh, which comes out to be 21.78. Now, from this, we can find out uh, uh, XLPH is equals to 21.78 is equal to 2 pi FLPH. F is, is the frequency given 50 hertz. From this, we can find out LPH uh, is equal to 66 milli Henry. Active power is equal to root 3 VL, VLIL uh, cos uh, theta or 3 times VPH IPH cos theta. And it comes out to be 11 kilowatt. This is a three-phase delta system. In this active power, reactive power, and average power equations are given. Active power is equal to uh, root three times v, uh, uh, root three VLIL cos 30, or three times VPH IPH cos cos theta. Reactive power uh, root three times VLIL sine 30, or three times VPH IPH sine 30. Apparent power is uh, uh, VL into IL or uh, three times uh, root three times VL into IL or three times VPH into IPH. Economic electrical technology by B. L. Theraja. Thank you.